Hello, we're going to find today, we're going to be finding the equation of a line when we're given the slope and a point on that line. And sometimes we're actually not going to be given the slope, we're going to have to find the slope. So let's go ahead and take a look at this because these examples take a little bit of time here. We're going to find the equation of a line that passes through the point 2, negative 1 and is parallel to the line 8x plus 2y equals 10. We're going to write the equation of the parallel line in slope-intercept form. Now, with this, there are three major steps. The first step is to find the slope. The quickest way to do that is to convert from standard to slope-intercept form. So we're going to essentially isolate the y value. To do that, we subtract 8x from both sides of the equation and then divide by the coefficient of y. So we subtract 8x from both sides, divide every term by the coefficient of y. 2y divided by 2 is y. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4x. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. That is our slope-intercept form of the line, or sometimes called y is equal to mx plus b. The way that, or the reason we did this is because it helps us find the slope. The slope is the number in front of the x, or the coefficient of x. So in this case, our slope is negative 4. We're going to write that down. The standard letter we use for slope is m, so the slope is negative 4. Step 2 is that we solve for the value of b using the point 2, negative 1, because we know that's on the line, and the slope of negative 4. If we're given an x value, a y value, and the slope, all we need to do is substitute that information into the slope-intercept form of the line, and we will be able to solve for the value of b. So we found m, now we need to find b. Our y value is negative 1, our x value is positive 2, our m, or slope, is negative 4. So all we're doing is substituting those three pieces of information in and solving. Four times, negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. We'll add 8 to both sides of the equation and find that b is equal to 7. We'll write that one down as well. So the slope m is negative 4, b is positive 7. We'll substitute m and b into the equation, y equals mx plus b, and then we'll have our solution. y is equal to negative 4x plus 7, and that is it. Done. Ta-da! That's the slope-intercept form of the line that is parallel to this line and passes through that point. Again, the steps. We found the slope of this line. We used the slope and this point x, y to find our value for b, which is the y-intercept. And then we simply substituted m and b into the y equals mx plus b, or in other words, the slope-intercept form of the line. Okay, the next three examples, um, well, I guess this one we're going to go through a little bit more quickly, but it's going to follow the exact same steps. I use the same format so that we would be able to follow pretty quickly. Step one, we're going to find the slope of 4x minus 2y equals 8. To do that, we need to get y completely by itself. So we'll subtract 4x from both sides of this equation and then divide by the coefficient of y, in this case negative 2. We divide each term by negative 2 and simplify. y equals 2x minus 4. 2 is the number right in front of the x, therefore our slope is 2. We're looking for a parallel line, so we're looking for the line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 2, 3. I'm going to substitute my point 2, 3 as the x and y value in the slope-intercept form. x is 2, y is 3, and my slope m is 2. I'm doing this so that I can isolate the variable of b and get it by itself. 2 times 2 is 4, and I'll subtract 4 from both sides of this equation to tell me that b is equal to negative 1. Let's write that down, b equals negative 1. Now I'm going to substitute slope of 2 and the b of negative 1 into my y equals mx plus b equation. Slope of 2 goes right in there, b goes right there. 
to negative 1. So that will be the final answer for this equation. y is equal to 2x minus 1. That's the slope of the line, or the equation of the line that has the, is parallel to this line and passes through the point 2, 3. All right. The next two examples are going to be very similar, except we're going to be doing lines that are perpendicular. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines, as we'll talk about a little bit later, have opposite inverted slopes. So otherwise, we're going to use, follow exactly the same steps. Step number one, we find the slope. To do that, we will convert from standard form into the slope-intercept form of the line. In other words, we're going to get y isolated. Subtract 2x from both sides of this equation. Because there is no coefficient of y, we're done. y is equal to negative 12x plus 6. Okay. The negative 12x is the slope of this line here. But we have to remember we are looking for the line that is perpendicular to that. Perpendicular lines have the opposite inverted slope. Or in other words, the reciprocal, the opposite reciprocal. So this was 12 over 1. It was negative 12 over 1. So it becomes positive 1 over 12. Our slope is 1 12th. It's kind of a funny slope, but we'll work with it. So let's write that one down, slope of 1 over 12. Now I'm going to solve for my value of b using the point 1, 3 and the slope 1, 12. I substitute that information into this equation. x is 1, y is 3, and m is 1, 12. Then I'm just going to solve for the value of b. 1 times 1, 12 is 1, 12. And 3 minus 1, 12 is 2 and 11, 12. So my b value is 2 and 11, 12. Slope of 1 12th, my b or my y-intercept of 2 and 11 12th. I take that information, substitute it into the equation y equals mx plus b. And my final answer is y is 1 12th x plus 2 and 11 12th. Again, a little bit of a funky equation there, lots of fractions and mixed numbers here. But that's our answer. And that's it. Ta-da! You'll notice that these steps seem very similar. Let's do another example. You'll see exactly the same steps. Here's another example of a perpendicular line. Step number one, we're going to find the slope of this line here. So we're going to convert from standard to slope-intercept form of a line. A lot of cutting and pasting with this because the steps are exactly the same. First, we subtract 6x from both sides of the equation leaving us with 3y is equal to negative 6x plus 12. We'll divide by the coefficient of the y value, leaving us with y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Our slope is negative 2, not negative 2x. That's a mistake. It's negative 2, just that value. So we're going to write that down. But hold on. Did we forget something? Maybe. We're looking for a line that is perpendicular. So this line has a slope of, t of negative 2. We're looking for a line that is perpendicular. In other words, we in find the invert, inverse, and the opposite slope. Or we invert and multiply the slope times negative 1. So our slope of negative 2 becomes positive 1 over 2. That will be the slope that we actually write down and use. That's the slope of the line that we're trying to solve for. We know that it passes through the point 4, 7 and has a slope of 1 half. So we're going to solve for the variable of b by substituting these values in for x, y, and m into our y equals mx plus b equation. y is 7, x is 4, and the slope m is 1 half. Again, we're solving for the variable of b. 1 half times 4 is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. So our y-intercept in this case is 5. I'm going to write that down up here. And then substitute our slope of 1 half and our y-intercept of 5 into the y equals mx plus b. m is 1 half. b 
is 5, and that is our final answer. Ta-da! Done. Now, in these four examples, you'll notice that we followed exactly the same three steps. We followed those steps, and each step was also very similar in and of itself. When you get pretty quick at this, it's only going to come because of practice. So take out your textbook, get some practice problems, work through those problems for practice. You cannot get good at this just watching someone else do it. So those are some sample problems. You can watch the recording, rewind, fast forward, pause, try and solve those problems on your own. Watch the steps that I did and make sure that you're practicing on your own. Have a wonderful day.